How you doing guys? Chris with Dylan's Touch. Hope all is well. Uh, so today we are going to a body shop to work on a Audi Q5. And interesting enough, uh, we got this call about two or three days ago. And it was for an estimate that we done probably about three weeks ago. She went ahead and went through insurance, the insurance. And the insurance uh, told her to go to the body shop and whatever the case may be. And the manager of the body shop reached out to us and said, hey, listen, I think it's a better repair. Uh, if, that, if you do it, you know, with PDR, then if we, you know, mud the side of the car or mud the door and paint the whole side of the car. I said, no problem. Uh, oddly enough, I've already seen the damage. Uh, it's going to take me a full day. Can you go ahead and already, uh, you know, R&I the panels for me so I won't have to do that when I get there. Um, and I, I thought it was an absolute blessing. More and more body shops are getting used to uh, PDR being something that they, you know, now write. Uh, so, you know, if you guys are are in the industry and are body tech or even a PDR guy, you know, PDR is changing for the better, guys. And uh, I, I, I can't wait to see what's in store. Um, so let's get started with this repair. I'm, I am so uh, kind of happy to get started or, or excited to, um, to, to start. Uh, so I will catch up with you once we get to the car. to show you some uh, footage here there it is I got to get that green mark off because it literally throws me off when I'm working so uh, let's get started on this repair and then I got I'll show you the damage underneath the light Anything. I'm just trying to see how the metal is moving, what's kind of keeping it from moving, and then uh, attack it, you know, once I realize that. So there's a high area, like kind of a crease area right here, and I'm just knocking it down to see if there's anything behind it. If, if there is, then I need to take every, more things apart and see what's going on here. So just seeing if I can actually knock it down. This, this light is actually too much. I'm going to switch back to the Stucky right now. Let me show you guys. Hopefully you guys can see this, but you see that there was a line of a, of a high spot. So I think whatever impacted this, it buckled around the hinge area, which I'm gonna show you, that's the hinge area right here. So the line is actually right here. And so they reinforced this hinge area, um, obviously to <laughs> give the door some stability and and longevity uh, but there is the line it, it was uh, pronounced just as much as it is right here all the way about another inch and a half here so I knocked down that all the way to here 
I'm going to show you guys uh, what that looks like. Here we go. Hopefully I can show you guys this contrast. There we go. So you can see me knocking down right here. So the line was kind of how this looks, and then I'm pretty much knocking it down. So you can see the eyebrow right here. It's low right here. This is where the pinch weld is. So you can see that. Alright guys, so the tabs of choice is going to be the gangrene crease tabs. That's what I'm going to use to go along the uh, body line of this uh, damage and see if we can pull the majority of it up. It's not going to be, this, this repair is not going to be an hour of repair. I would say between four and five hours to get this right and we're going to, and we're probably going to spend every minute of that just in cleanup time. So let's get started. So, so I get asked the question. Hey guys, so as I was working on this repair, the pinstriping guy decided to come and talk to me about suggesting another company. So he felt some type of way with it, which I really understand. And I don't know if you guys heard that conversation or not. I didn't, I try to stop recording it, but I will try to leave this in there. And if I do, I want to give an explanation of what's happening. So we had a car in here that I needed to get the dent removed. Uh, they were trying to knock it out as a zero day. I felt bad for the for the um, dealership, the body shop, that they weren't be able to complete that zero day or one day or just get the car back to the customer fast enough. Uh, so what I did was, he asked me, hey, did I know a vendor that actually does a clear bra? I said, of course I do, um, but he's not mobile. He only uh, does work at a shop, and he's probably going to be more expensive to the vendor than he than he uh, that he that you use right now. So he said, okay, well, let me find out if I can actually, you know, he asked me where was it at. I told him Springfield and, and whatever. And um, so, you know, he called me the next the, the few hours, get the contact information, and was more than happy to give it to him. And then obviously I get a conversation with the current vendor saying that, hey, you ran me underneath the bus. Uh, so, you know, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I don't think I did. I pretty much, they asked me a question and I answered truthfully. Of course I know a person. I'm in the industry. I know a guy. But again, he's going to be more expensive and he's not going to travel out to your, your body shop. So let me know in the description, I mean, in the, uh, in the comments section, what you guys think. Should I just say, nope, don't know a guy and just let it be? Because he's feel some type of way as if I ran him underneath the bus. I don't feel that way, but it is what it is. So let's get back to the repair. And I'm almost finished. I'm actually an hour in, maybe an hour and a half in, and I'll show you what it looks like.
So not too bad again for an hour. I'm probably gonna spend the next three hours cleaning all that up, but I, I was strictly with glue and, and, and knocking down all the crowns. So the front edge of the door is still giving me some problems, but I'm hoping I can get that out once I take the uh, speaker out and actually get access with the tool. So let's proceed. It is now 11:23, and there you go if you guys can see that and I've probably been working on this for about two and a half hours now let me show you where we're at the light is pushed back quite far so it might not look like I've done much but the light is getting is getting pushed back even further and further again this edge is uh, I haven't even spent that much time on this edge so that's gonna going to be the last thing I work on but let me uh, show you guys what it looks like as of right now. So that's a decent amount of improvement that we have right here. Um, and we're gonna keep at it. Again, I'll probably work on the, the kind of the crease portion of this dent for probably another hour and a half. And then we're gonna try to see what that edge can do or what I can do with that edge. And I'll have to R and I the speaker. But uh, let's keep, keep at it. race right in here you'll see it right here that's what we're fighting up against but uh, that can actually be used as a uh, benefit from being you know something that we can leverage off of so I'm gonna try to slide a tool uh, there's a brace right there it looks like it's just all a brace right here so even on the back side I don't know if you guys can see that but there's a brace pretty much you know right here so, and I think the dent is right on the very edge, so we'll see. I got majority of it up, so. kind of create more damage to get access. Uh, let, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So all those high areas, 
and I want to get my tool right here. <laughs> I had to do all of this. Snake trail is what we call it. Snake trailing, I guess. Just to get this little pit out here. So, but as you can probably see, guys, the dent is coming out beautiful. If you hear that if, if, if you're seeing that this is a if you're seeing this this is a vlog so uh, you I might bring you guys to lunch or whatever the case may be but uh, I'm trying to get this door done so I can start on this fender and I got that little bit left and then I'm gonna do my final cleanup and we'll be good but I'm having a hard time uh, getting to that little area even with making the, all those snail trails so let's keep at it It is 1.53 if you guys can see that. So 1.52, almost two o'clock. I uh, still got the fender to do. Uh, I'm pretty much the lower part, I'm almost done with that. And then I'm gonna work that kind of uh, upper area, uh, upper for the door. And uh, I should be done, um, good to go. I'll show you guys in probably about 20 minutes uh, how it looks. guys I'm just about finishing up this repair or just this door because I still got to do the fender let me show you where I'm at Right, guys we're just finishing up that uh, Audi Q5 uh, hope you liked the video and uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe if you're not already um, peace out guys and we'll see you on the next video thank you